Good morning, everybody. Right in front of the Ferris wheel at Icon Park. It's about 5.20 this morning. 44 years in a day. We're going to get it started right. I am going to have to sweat this out from yesterday. Whew, that meal was something else. So were the snacks. So we're going to pull in here to Planet Fitness. Get a workout on. Post birthday. Let's go. Okay. All done. Nice little workout today. Now we're going to head back. It's 745. Hey everybody, good morning. I'm back, working out, showered, picked this pretty girl up, got my protein shake. We're headed to Celebration, is that right? We want to head back over to Celebration. If you've watched our vlogs um, before, we really like that area. Yeah. And uh, there is a breakfast place there that we've eaten at before. We didn't love it. So we're going to go see if there's any other place to get breakfast or brunch. Uh, I am fully back on the carnivore bandwagon today. I'm not feeling the greatest after eating all those cookies Same. yesterday. <laughs> I told the camera that earlier. I was like, I um, gotta get this off of me. <laughs> um, so I am looking for a nice high protein um, salt uh, for breakfast. So yeah. that's what we're going to do. And then we really don't have any plans. Um, we did want to drive around and look at a few properties that are for rent or for sale. Um, we're kind of coming up on a crossroads as far as where we're going to live. And we just yeah. don't know what the future holds. And then we thought we would drive home the scenic route and take a look at some of the old uh, 192. Instead of going home the interstate this time, we're going to go home the fun way. So we don't really know what's going to be in this vlog yet, but it will be in the thumbnail. So <laughs> you <laughs> <Come> along, <laughs> and let's go get some beat though. My stomach is growling right, so we're loud. Going. We're going. It turns out there is only the one brunch place in Celebration. <laughs> we chose a first watch that's near Celebration. Um, I have only been to a first watch once and Michael has never been and I can't remember if I liked it or not or even what I had so we're gonna give first we watch. Check the menu? I know it's a chain normally we would probably have preferred to eat I somewhere know, indie um, but um, there weren't any other options in celebration nothing that's open on a weekday so well that and we tried to avoid I-4 this morning because it's it's you know not nine o'clock it's o looking yet, at rush so. hour right now so yeah let's go I will try it come on in Sausage, avocado, and uh, sour cream. It's hot, isn't it? How'd you like your first, first um, watch experience? Yeah, I thought it was okay. I'd probably give it uh, eight. Eight out of ten? Wow. Eight. Um, but that's probably more because they had something called Million Dollar Bacon that Julie and I got as a shareable um, side, which is on their special menu, so I'm not sure that it's even available year-round. Outside of that, the omelet we got was a little above average. Well, um, in all fairness, I like a pretty bland omelet. I usually get things like sausage, sour cream, and avocado in my omelet. And you let me order first and then said you would have exactly what I have. Yeah, Whereas you would usually get like banana peppers or chorizo or well, something a little bit more spicy. True. They did have a chorizo omelet available. And um, then Julie found one we thought we were going to get that had bacon in it. And then she just built her own. And I thought, you know what, that sounds good. I was expecting the sausage maybe to have a little bit more spice in it. Yeah. Uh, it was sausage links that were cut up very small and put in there with avocado, uh, some cheddar jack, and topped with sour cream. So like I said, I don't, I don't want to say, um, <clears throat> Julie asked me, would you eat here again? And yes, I would. If we were in a new city, we couldn't find anything like today uh, that was local or was, was, you know, high enough rated and we don't want to go to a Denny's or an IHOP, of course. Um, I would. I would seek this one out. But having said that, we have had much better brunch places in 
Melbourne yeah. for sure. Um, and Charlotte's a, a totally different thing with, with brunch um, and how good some of those places are. So yeah, this in this area, this was the closest one we, we got to the neighborhood. We had the local one in celebration last time, um, which again was above average, mm -hmm. but nothing great. And so yeah, I think I think eight's a pretty fair score for me. I do like they did say like their jellies um, and their toast are as close to preservative free and sugar free and all natural as possible. So I did try um, their jelly and it was actually really good. It tasted like it was just uh, literally blended strawberries mm -hmm. and a gelatin packet, you know, mm -hmm. to make it like that. So yeah, it was. I'd probably give it a seven. Um, my omelet was really good and it had. Um, more avocado inside it when i first took the video of it i thought man i asked for avocado but i didn't just want one sliver on the top yeah. but it had avocado in it too um i had asked for no toast no potatoes no fruit nothing just the omelet and a million dollars same bacon. i asked for the same but it like... came out with all of that stuff anyway and i i just um i hate when they bring stuff that i've asked not to bring only because it's wasteful yeah, like, we, yeah. i appreciate that maybe they just didn't write it down or forgot um but I feel bad leaving it behind and wasting it. I didn't eat any of the toast, and I didn't eat it. Yeah, she even fruit. asked us. She's like, do you guys want this fruit to go? And we're like, no, sorry. Um, and we, yeah, like Julie said, we don't want to waste it, but we also don't want to force ourselves to I, eat it. We ask yeah, for that to be kept. Yeah. You know, we understand the price is the same. That's okay. We don't want it cheaper. We just don't want to waste it. And, and it came out with we, both. <laughs> we were talking about at breakfast um, as carnivores, especially since we do most of our cooking and eating at home. Is we are so very we've got it down to such a routine now we know exactly yeah. what to buy how long it will last yeah and we eat we through do. everything in our fruit like if we go shopping for a huge grocery haul everything that we buy will be disappeared and we're down to yeah. like light bulbs and it's ice like a cubes week. We, we in about a week yeah we have no lingering condiments or vegetables or fruit or things in the crisper we don't have any food just lingering around because you don't use it often we buy it and we eat right. it it doesn't go out of date so we're not used to wasting food and it kind of it's a little bit of a morality crisis when we do have to yeah but, i mean it's, and, and th it's that's what i think that's what was kind of confusing because uh it was a different lady that brought it out to us than um who we ordered off of and she even repeated whenever you said what you wanted that you didn't want any side and when I said I want the exact same omelet, but could, but you, with no sides, but could you bring the million dollar bacon for us? And that was like that was it. So I don't know if maybe there was some confusion in the kitchen, but yeah, unfortunately she she had to take that away, and it's like I hate, now you got to throw that away. You can't serve that to someone. Else. So that's yeah. unfortunate. I, I, but, just, I just hate when that happens. Yeah. But it's it's nobody's fault. It's, no, no, right. I wouldn't knock them for that. But no. okay, why why only a seven? Because now I'm rethinking my answer. Um, I didn't love the million dollar bacon. It was good. It was hot. It was really, really totally good. It was delicious. Was... And I'm sure you saw, Michael, I think we filmed me taking my first bite. It was great. I mean, the bacon was pretty good. But it seems like million dollar bacon or, or some type of special house bacon is becoming the norm yeah. on uh, on menus. And I've had, everybody else who's had specialty bacon has had better bacon. The heat okay, was just a right. little too much. Um, my favorite bacon so far is at a place called Snooze AM Eatery, Charlotte, which we have yeah. we have several in Charlotte, but I don't know if it's a chain or not. Um, Morning Glory, and is it Backwater? We've had we've had it quite a few places now, and whenever a place soups up their bacon, it's always been better than this. But this was really really good. Okay, yeah. You know, so that's right. probably why I'm, I'm giving it a seven. I'm gonna drop it to a seven five. I liked the spice um, on that. It tasted different. I'm saying different than the other million dollar bacons because of that. Usually what you're getting is, is more of a maple flavor when we get the million dollar, million dollar bacon at other places. And today it was like, I don't know if they took chili and just put, you know, just rubbed the chili it paste on it. It was too much. <clears throat> I knew, I knew, it, I thought it would be for you. Um, four slices, $5.99, we both, we each took two. That's a, probably a good price because there's been lots of places we yeah. ordered a million dollar bacon and they only brought Close two to, pieces. Yeah, right, and closer to like ten dollars rather <laughs> than five. So yeah, um, overall price was just a tad more than what we're used to spending. Uh, thirty six to thirty eight. Maybe because we're in a bigger city. Yeah, and it was forty one. So that you know that that's negligible. Um, but yeah, it's well. There's our that's about it. first watch review. Your first time. I've been once. It was several 
a year or two ago. I was carnivore at the time and I had a really hard time ordering off the menu because I don't think that first watch had an omelets menu or something like that. But mm. anyway, this one was fine. Seven out of um, 10. If we don't go back, it wouldn't hurt my feelings. And if we had but to go would, back to I eat, I would go yeah, if it I'd, was the only place to eat. Yeah, for sure, for sure. All right. He needs to go to Publix, which is right across the parking lot. And then we're headed to Celebration. That's good. We think this is one of the places for rent. It is a three bed, three bath house. 1900. 1900 square feet. And uh, we are just kind of looking to see where, how much the cost and uh, what we could get if we were to move into celebration. We are looking at places that are for rent. So this is the first one we're just taking a look at. All right, here's the second one we are looking at. It is two hundred dollars more a month and five hundred less. Three bed, two square bath. Feet. Three bed, two. Uh huh. Fourteen, sixteen. Um. So we are just taking a look at the specs on this one. A little further away from downtown. It is a little further away. It's not a corner unit like the last one. I'm kind of un unclear why it's so much more money. And I does it even have a garage? Um. Give me a second. I do like the fact that you don't that you see ha I prefer a house where you see house from the road instead of like a big old garage door you know off to the side but it doesn't have a garage at all anyway taking a look I haven't at this found it yet for number two all right looking at these specs uh it's been renoed and it looks much more up uh, well more so than the last one up to date and a little bit more modern inside and kind of outside and yes it does have a garage you have to access it from the back it's a two-car garage just like the other place so I see why it's more money. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous inside. Gorgeous garage too. This is not the house that we are looking at. We're actually looking at one over there. But the, the specs on it, but there's nowhere to park in the front of it. parking is so. weird, yeah. What do we got here? It's three look? bed, two and a half bad. Okay. 17, Looks like a duplex. Yeah, 1,700 duplex, right? square feet. It's 12. 54. It's actually the middle unit there. Can you see where the there's American three flag units? is? Oh. Yeah, there's three there. That's odd. What's the number? The what, the number of the house. Uh -huh. It is three, or sorry, 1254. Okay, I see the door here, I think. I don't particularly like that you're squeezed in two walls. You don't have an exterior wall. Well, the door is on the corner. I think it might be. Oh, I see. I see. There's one on the other side of it. Yeah, there's okay. one on the other side of the porch. So what the porch the, is yours. How many because square feet you said? 17. Um, three, but you two have and a half? Porch, three, two and a half. All the it's inside been updated. colors are really pretty. They're, uh, you know, nice and neutral, which that's what we do. Kitchens. And the kitchen's going to be a little cramped. It, it reminds me of the kitchen we have now. We are on top of each other constantly on the kitchen we are we use now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that one's decent, kind of a decent, but has probably a patio my least pad favorite of all three so far. In the back, and you get a one car garage. Eh, least favorite so far too. Least favorite so far, but yeah. Beautiful inside. Well, this looks like nothing, <laughs> which you can't see. Oh, hello. Didn't see that guy there. Is there's a new apartment complex being built yeah, back in there. And we came here to see it, but it's actually so under construction that we can't see. Yeah, like it's not even, you can see the stickers it on the windows back there. Super nice from the pictures online. And we really like it. It reminds us a lot of an apartment we lived in before we moved to Florida. 
and uh, it's right across this well right here off of 192 um, I know it looks like absolute nothing in this photo but um, we're really interested in it however there's no units available right now so that was the next place we had to check off our list okay we have checked out all of the properties that were on our list we didn't go inside any of them um, but we looked at them all from the outside because we're just sort of trying to get a feel of this area if we yeah. would want to live here um, do how we? far things are you know M michael's biggest issue right now is that it doesn't seem like there's a gym that's close enough to be reasonable um so we would be looking at is he going to go back to solid running um or driving, or driving potentially close to 30 minutes one way for planet fitness yeah he's currently but, up um, to you have memberships of two gyms right now one of them's planet fitness and one of them is just up the street from our house but yeah and that one's going away so, i'm but, looking at it like there's so many places to walk the dog and um you know get some fresh air and sunshine we're close to the parks yeah for sure close to a bigger airport it's just something that we're considering because we are coming up on like i said on the end of a lease and we don't really know what we want to do when the time comes so yeah i think um we did see a community fitness oh, fitness i'm not sure what they call it rec center that has a gym and pool and things with it but it's in a different part of celebration so we don't we know, don't know yeah. if it technically is included to every neighbor that's in the entire celebration area or just that section of the neighborhood um, we do know when it comes to community pools apparently there are many and if you're a celebration citizen you have access to the pools but yeah the fitness center is a that's a that's just kind of a question mark i told julie it wouldn't be something that i would not move to simply because of, of access to a gym i would either drive it i would either just run or at the very the very most and um i guess um, um, um the hardest thing would be to buy my gym equipment just simply because we, it's not like we have any intention of purchasing a home here so making an investment like that you know and having yeah. to potentially move that is not something that I, I would look forward to uh, but there's always ways to get exercise in i think um the neighborhood seems great the houses that we pulled up to to look at are reasonable comparable to the rent that, that we are paying now um, uh, especially with what you get, what's in the area, um, and um, yeah, what you said, the outside paved trails, the greenways, there's miles and miles of uh, biking and hiking and running. Boardwalks? Yeah, boardwalks. It's just beautiful. Um, and and sub like little sub pockets of neighborhoods within neighborhoods like you go to one section and it's a totally different layout and architecture and um availability for um, things to do and then you go to another section that's a little newer if you will and it's a totally different you know you're like in a new area so i think that's neat too mm -hmm. and um yeah just doing some recon today i don't know sure. if this is interesting or helpful to anybody but uh, we have pretty much checked out everything that the That's celebration available right now. <laughs> area has to offer. We have not contacted a realtor yet because, like I said, we, we're not really sure which direction we're going to be going at, when our lease ends soon. So uh, we are going to be making our way home the scenic route down 192. I will try to film if I see anything <laughs> interesting. I know there's a lot of like touristy traps, but I don't know if we're going to stop for anything. So we may be wrapping up the vlog here. But uh, thanks for coming along. For yeah random morning with us in celebration i hope you've enjoyed this video and any more footage if there happens to be any more <laughs> and if you guys are from this area and you have suggestions oh please on we how can you use it, really. overcome the gym or oh you should look in this little area yeah, that if maybe we, we don't anything, know let us know we saw yeah. a burn boot camp but i thought that was for females only there is an orange theory there's an orange theory um a little really further thing, away but i don't really do the group the whole group yeah. fitness thing and that, that's not to say that i don't love you don't like being group or team classes, sports but i like yeah i like saying you know what i know this is next on my list but i don't want to do that i want to go do this and and so yeah i just kind just of like to mix of a it standard up standard gym with a membership but i would love to have that's a buddy close. to work out with but yeah the yeah. team the whole team like Hive, hive. That's another. Hive that's another. Um, yeah, another gym. Anyway. Anyway, if anybody is watching this and has anything to say that might help us out, please leave please. it down below because we are 
still not sure what we want to be when we grow up. Right? <laughs> I think that's a good thing. All right, guys. We'll see you another day in another vlog. Please feel free to enjoy any footage if there is any after this point. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye, Thanks everybody. For Getting gas before we head home, and I just thought it was fitting that right there is a billboard for home. We don't actually live at Melbourne Beach, but we live on a beach off of Melbourne, so pretty much same thing. where the gladiators used to be. We've seen Adam the Woo do a couple of coverages of this area on his channel. He loves to talk about this big orange up here. And we have to go in. Yeah, if they, they ever open, just, um, open yeah. up again, I'd like to see the inside. That is just an unusual looking building. Interesting mile markers. We don't know why, but oh, look at the whales on the side yeah. of the uh, gift shop over here. fire over there. I hope that's a controlled burn. Reptile world. Here's a better look at that fire. Wow. I hope we get to see what it is. station that's oh. how you get to Keenansville so yeah. oh, okay so Keenan all right so that'll make this easy I can look up a fire burning near Keenansville I guess and the big uh, Jesus Church should be coming up here on the right shortly although I can't remember exactly how far right here here it is I'll slow down so we can sound this oh yeah we've uh, we've done a video on this that hit this church before Adam the Woo very recently went inside it and there is absolutely nothing in it. So it wasn't it looks wasn't, like there was a car in it though at one point. At there. one point, but not not recently, but no, anyway. no. still on 192 headed east towards Melbourne.
Polly. Camp Polly. It's an airboat ride. You can ride out into the swamps and they will take you to see alligators. It's really fun. It was really fun. Michael and I did it one time before. Um, there you can see the swamps. But we didn't have our cameras with us and we didn't film it, so we've been thinking we ought to do it again. Agreed, totally. Get some footage of some gators, that would be really fun. I will tell you, it is not cheap, but it, it's worth it. I think it was worth it. Yeah, it was um, maybe about 45 minutes and we saw a ton yeah. of gators. And birds, different wildlife. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It wasn't hot either because it was so breezy. They tell us to go uh, first thing in the morning or as close to you. You'll see more activity in, uh, early yeah. in the morning. And we went late in the afternoon. We went late in the afternoon, yeah. It was kind of a spur of the moment thing we did when we had a, your mom came in to yeah. visit from out of town and uh, we... She loved it. I didn't think she would want to do it. I threw it out as a suggestion and she sounded thrilled with the idea. So we did it and had a good time and definitely would like to do it again. Yeah. And we'll take our cameras along next time for sure.